Eight days until Christmas and all through the state, Crashy the cold front eagerly awaits. Will there be more storms? Baldy knows. Let's tell you in this Tuesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. <laughs> Good morning, it's Tuesday, the 17th of December, 2024. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Boldy and Chief David Reimer. And yeah, we had some storms yesterday afternoon and evening across parts of North Texas, Texoma, Northeast Texas. Even had some transient supercell structure with a couple of storms in the Metroplex. One over DFW Airport, which made a mockery of most of the evening uh, flights. Unfortunately for both DFW and Love Field, a lot of folks are... Dealing with the repercussions of that, uh, diversions galore. And, wow. It's better than trying to land in a thunderstorm or depart in a thunderstorm. That I can promise you. So even though it's inconvenient, it's better than crashing. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at the high res rapid refresh model for today, tonight, into Wednesday. Well, most of today is going to be quiet. Cold front moving south, at least a reinforcing cold front. You can see that does try to spark off a broken line of thunderstorms again late tonight into Wednesday morning, especially along and east of I-35 in northeast Texas, eastern north Texas, and the Arklatex. That line and cold front moves south Wednesday morning to early Wednesday afternoon. May have a quick round of thunderstorms, parts of the Brazos Valley, east Texas, southeast Texas, all the way back through the coastal plain, south central Texas. You can see it really weakens tomorrow afternoon as it moves south. But yeah, we may have a few strong storms again late tonight, probably after midnight into the morning hours Wednesday as the cold front and its little line of showers and storms move south at a decent pace. Small hail and gusty winds would be the main threat along with brief heavy rain and lightning. Gusty north winds and cooler temperatures are expected behind that reinforcing cold front as it moves south through the state well panhandle region today uh, and then rest of the state tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon fire weather conditions over the next few days from the texas a m forest service here you go both today and tomorrow generally low to moderate fire danger across most of the state with the exception of the borderland parts of the guadalupe Mounds, Davis Mounds, Trans Pecos, down to the Big Bend, where fire danger will be high tomorrow. And then on Thursday, low to moderate danger expected across the state of Texas. Let's take a look at the longer range American weather model, global forecast system. We'll start off Thursday. You can see mostly clear skies across the majority of this state, except deep south Texas, Rio Grande Valley, where we may have some residual moisture sticking around after the cold front on Wednesday. You can see really. Not a whole lot going on the second half of this week across the state, which is nice. So our main issue with precipitation and thunderstorms will be late tonight, but more likely Wednesday morning into early Wednesday afternoon. It's a good thing to be, I think. Oh, excuse me. It's a good thing because, well, aviation impacts will be reduced, at least here, but... We need rain. At least parts of the state do. You can see as we get into Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, maybe some light rain possible. Southern third of the state of Texas tries to advect northward into Monday morning. There could be some low clouds and fog if that verifies. But that's six to seven days out. We're not going to get that nitpicky right now. And that takes us almost into Christmas Eve. Isn't that spooky? Boy, time does fly. But the clear message here is, besides the front to 9 to Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, we really don't have any major weather impacts expected in Texas for the remainder of the work week into the weekend. So, that's nice. Uh, here's the forecast rain totals over the next couple of days. Really, again, this is this morning through 6 p.m. Saturday, and as you saw in the American weather model, at least. <sighs> what these days up to put a yawn counter in this. We're not looking at a lot of precip outside of the round of rain and storms with the southward moving cold front tonight. Generally speaking, most folks aren't going to get anything, but maybe a tenth to one quarter inch of rain, northeast Texas, east Texas, um, lesser amounts down to the Brazos Valley, Piney Woods of East Texas, southeast Texas, and then maybe a smidgen hill country, central Texas, back into the Edwards Plateau. 
Now, let's take a look at temperatures over the next several days. Again, today's high temps warm across the state. We're looking at 80s, southern third of the state into the coastal plain, southeast Texas, 70s up into the Arklet, Tex, North Texas, Big Country, Concho Valley, Permian Basin, Big Bend, 60s, Panhandle, West Texas, Texoma, Northwest Texas, onto the borderland around El Paso, far west Texas. Tomorrow, you can definitely tell the cold front has moved south. These are high temperatures after 6 a.m. Wednesday, so temperatures could be falling for some folks as the cold front progresses south tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, but you could see much cooler northern half of the state at least highs back into seasonal values with low to mid-50s for high temperatures, gusty north winds making it feel a bit cooler. You could see the southern half of the state still making it into the 60s, 70s, and lower 80s tomorrow, but again, folks in the Hill Country, Central Texas, the Brazos Valley, Northeast Texas, East Texas, back into the Edwards Plateau, your high temperatures may occur during the morning hours or the lunchtime period and falling thereafter as the cold front moves south, bringing temperatures back from, say, the 60s, 70s down into the 50s. Deep South Texas, the Rio Grande Valley, y'all are going to probably be safe most of tomorrow. It's going to be another warm day with highs in the middle 80s. As we go into Thursday, you can see high temperatures recovering pretty quickly across most of the state, uh, back into the 60s for most folks, still 70s in the Big Bend, the Permian Basin, Rio Grande Plains, Rio Grande Valley, Deep South Texas, the Coastal Bend. Coolest location will be the Arklatex, Northeast Texas highs, comfortably in the upper 50s with some cold air damming coming in from Arkansas on the higher terrain out there and then you can see as we get into friday that cold air really starts to try to filter in from the northeast you can see highs only in the 30s across parts of southeast kansas missouri northern arkansas Notice how most of that cold air is going to be shunted to our east, though a very cold weather pattern setting up for the eastern third to the eastern 40% of the continental United States as we head towards the end of this work week into the weekend. It's going to be very cold out there, but we're going to be on the western edge of this. Most of it's going off to our east, so highs back down to the upper 40s, low 50s, Texoma, North Texas, Northeast Texas on Friday, but otherwise the rest of the state I mean, we're looking at highs still, upper 50s, 60s, and then by the time you get back into the southern Big Bend, you know, the Rio Grande Valley, deep south Texas, 70s, and then here's Saturday, you can see again, much colder northeast of Texas, but us, uh, well, our impacts, low 50s, north eastern quarter of the state otherwise the rest of the state mostly in the 60s to about 70 degrees so not bad and again it doesn't really look all that wet through saturday after we get past well tomorrow afternoon that southward moving cold front which yeah we will have some showers and storms with it it's just not going to rain all that much for most folks or all that long. Here is the long range temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. This is from Christmas Eve through the 30th of December. Uh, clear indications are after the cold snap this week across the eastern 40% of the United States is going to get warm. And we are going to be pretty darn warm, it looks like, as we get towards Christmas. And then thereafter, especially, it's going to get much warmer across most of the United States. The way it looks right now, high temperatures in Texas next Wednesday. Christmas, uh, we're probably going to be in the 60s, maybe 70s, maybe 40s and 50s. I know that's a big range, but you know, at this point, it is clear we're not looking at an Arctic outbreak for Christmas. So we'll see what happens. It does look like a warmer Christmas this year. And if all things hold true, we'll be cooler before Christmas, warming up, climbing the temperature roller coaster on Christmas Day, and continuing to climb thereafter with. Above average temperatures likely for late December, so take that as you may. And then here's the precipitation outlook. Actually, it's uh, showing a better than not chance for maybe some precipitation across the eastern two-thirds of the state of Texas. And while the west coast, a bit drier in the borderland western third of the state. We'll see how this shapes up. I mean, it is what it is. It doesn't take all that much rain to get above average in late December, but of course, above average temperatures and above average precip chances in late December, we'll have to keep an eye on it just in case we have any stormy mischief. There's nothing that's indicating that, by the way, at this point. I'm just throwing it out there, but there's nothing that is screaming, uh-oh, spaghetti on model land that would indicate we have to deal with any severe storms anywhere near Christmas at this point. So let's not get our stockings in a bunch at this point 
because I know it, plenty of people remember what happened on December. 26, 2015, myself included. Let's not do that again. No, thank you. So that'll be it for your Tuesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. As always, you can get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, daily Texas weather roundups, and more in the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers where you download apps for your device. And of course, you can find us on YouTube. Just search for Texas Weather Center, where we have a 24-7 live stream of Texas weather. And of course, all your Texas weather-related forecast and content. We'll be back bright and early Wednesday with your new Texas Weather Roundup. Y'all have a great day. We'll keep an eye on storm chances tonight. Post updates as needed. Have a good day. God bless.